Working with Google Drive files, sometimes we want someone to have limited access or access that expires after a certain amount of time. That is now available in Google Drive files. So what you'll do is if you've already shared the document with somebody, you'll come up to share, you'll look at their settings. You can see here that I have multiple editors on this document. When I click on editor, right here there's a new option to add expiration and then I can limit or expire this document or their access to this document whenever I choose to. So if I wanna open this up to somebody to look at for a couple weeks and then have it automatically remove access, I can do that. This is great when you wanna limit files or you're working on drafts of files or different things like that in a project-based thing. It also, it also can be used with students and lesson plans and different activities that you're working on. You can think of how to use this, but this is how you make the document expire in Google Drive. This is how you can make Google Drive access expire for specific users in Google Drive. If I want to remove the expiration, I can click here. If I want to close this, I click here. Once I'm done with all my changes, reminder that you need to save your changes in order for those changes to take place. To see who has expiring access, when I click on share, you'll notice right here that there's a little clock. That means that that person, that employee, that worker, whoever, has limited access to a certain amount of time. When I click on the clock, I can remove the expiration, click save again, and they now have constant access forever to this document. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end, and thank you for what you do for kids on a daily basis. If this video saved you time, energy, and frustration, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share it with your teacher friends. You can subscribe by clicking up here, or you can watch another video either here or here. Again, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.